Hello children. Today in this video, we are going to start our new exercise that is 7.2. Before starting that exercise, first of all introduction. In this exercise, we are going to do the proportion. Previous exercise we have done ratio. In this exercise, we will do the proportion. First of all, what is proportion? Children, proportion is the comparison between the two ratios. When two ratios are given to us, when we will compare them, that is known as the proportion. We can write it like this. A ratio B proportion C ratio D. And now, if A ratio B is equals to B ratio D, it means the four quantities are in proportion. If both the ratios are same, it means the four numbers which are given to you are in proportion. Children A and D are known as the extremes and B and C are known as the means. Again I am repeating A and D are known as the extremes and B and D are known as the means. Next children continued proportion. Continued proportion is if the three numbers are given to you, let the three numbers be A, B and C. And if we will repeat the middle number that is B, we have repeated B two times. So this is known as the continued proportion and how we can write it? It is B square is equal to AC. Now how this came? It is A by B is equals to B by C. A by B is equal to B by C. We can also write it like this. B into B is B square is equals to A into C. So this is continued proportion. And B is also known as the mean proportion between A and C. B is also known as mean proportion between A and C. Now children, unitary method. In unitary method, there are two proportions. Direct proportion and inverse proportion. From the name it is clear, direct proportion means when one quantity is increasing and simultaneously second is also increasing. I will take example, let the cost of one chocolate is rupees 10. So what is the cost of 10 such chocolates? It is 100. It means if number of chocolates I have increased, cost also increased to 100. So it is the direct proportion. So if one quantity is increasing, cost is increasing, number of chocolates also increased. So this is the direct proportion. Inverse proportion is if one quantity is increasing, second is decreasing. Suppose two men can complete a work in two days. Two men can complete a work in two days. So four men can complete a work in one day. So if we have increased in the number of men, number of days will decrease. It is known as the inverse proportion. If one quantity is increasing, second is decreasing, it is called the inverse proportion. Now children, come to the exercise 7.2. 7.2 exercise, first question it is, we have to show that whether they are in proportion or not. So 12 centimeter ratio 15 centimeter and 16 kilometer ratio 20 kilometer. So 12 by 15 is equals to 16 by 20. If you can cancel, cancel them. We can cancel it with a table of 3 and here we can cancel it with a table of 4. So we will get 4 by 5, 4 by 5. So yes, they are in proportion. Similarly, you can do the second, third and fourth part. And fifth part is children something it is uh, it is somewhat different different means 10 centimeter ratio 1 meter and 2 grams ratio 20 grams so in this here it is centimeter to meter also we can convert it into centimeters so 10 centimeters ratio 100 centimeter will come when i will convert meter into centimeter i have to multiply it with 100 and 2 grams ratio 20 grams so 10 by 100 is equals to 2 by 20. Cut it with a table of 2. 1 by 10 will come. And 1 0 and 1 0 will be cancelled. So what we will get? 1 by 10 is equals to 1 by 10. Yes, they are in proportion. Like third question. One example of not in proportion also we will do. 15 by 18 is equals to 9 by 12. When I will cancel it with a table of 3, I will get 5 by 6. Further, I can't cancel it. 9 by 12 also I will cancel with a table of 3. I will get 3 by 4. Now 5 by 6 is not equal to 3 by 4. They are not equal. Not equal means I will put a sign like this. So no they are not in proportion. The answer is no they are not in proportion. 
second and fourth part children you can do it easily second is question number 2 find the value of x if the following are in proportion now in this question they have told you that they are in proportion so how to calculate the value of x let's see x comma 4 comma 6 and 8 so how we will write it x by 4 is equals to 6 by 8 whatever you can cancel cancel it x will remain here 4 we can shift up so 6 into 4 by 8 4 1 is 4 4 2 is 8 Two ones are two, and two three is a six. So x is equals to three. Next is second part. Eight comma x comma nine and thirty six. So how we can write it? Eight by x is equals to nine by thirty six. Shift this x towards here, and all the terms toward here. So it will be eight into thirty six by nine. Cancel it. You will get the value of x is equals to thirty two. Third part in this children. Two comma six. comma x and 18 so 2 by 6 is equals to x by 18 x will remain here shift 18 towards here you will get x is equals to 6 so 4 comma 10 comma 42 and x 4 by 10 is equals to 42 by x shift x towards here and you can calculate the value of x easily from here next children question number 3 Find the value of x if the following are in continued proportion. Now, continued proportion I have told you b square is equals to ac, or middle term you have to repeat. So, middle term you have to repeat. That is eighteen. Middle term is x. X eighteen ratio x proportion x ratio fifty. Eighteen by x is equals to x by fifty. Multiply them. X into x is x square, and eighteen into fifty is how much? Nine hundred. Which number I will multiply two times so that I will get nine hundred thirty. So thirty into thirty is nine hundred. Thirty into thirty is equals to x square. Here it will be thirty square is equals to x square. Square and square cancel. Value of x will be thirty. Second part is x comma four and eight. Here middle term is four. So repeat four two times. X ratio four. Proportion four ratio eight. So x by four is equals to four by eight. Four into four, and x into eight. Value of x will be two. This was easy. Third part you can do it easily. Thirty you have to repeat two times, and then you can calculate the value of x. Now this one again. Fourth part. Four ratio x proportion x ratio sixteen will come. So four by x is equals to x by sixteen. Multiply it. X into x, x square, and four into sixteen, sixty-four. So, which number should I multiply two times so that I will get sixty-four? Eight. So, eight square is equal to x square, and value of x will be is equals to eight. After this, children, question number fourth. Find the second term of the proportion whose first, third, and fourth terms are given to you. That is three, eight, and twenty-four. So, let the second term be x. How to write it? Three ratio x. This we have to calculate. Proportion eight. Third term is eight, and fourth term is twenty-four. So this you can calculate. Three by x is equals to eight by twenty-four. Cross multiply, you will get x is equals to nine. Fifth question, children. Find the mean proportion between sixteen and twenty-five. Mean proportion means we will take it as x. So x be the mean proportion between sixteen and twenty-five. Then sixteen comma x and fifteen twenty five sorry are in continued proportion. So how to write it? Sixteen by x is equal to x by twenty five. Multiply x into x is x square, and twenty five into sixteen is equals to four hundred. Which number I will multiply two times so that I will get four hundred? It is twenty. So twenty square is equal to x square. Square square cancel. X is equals to twenty. So this will be our answer. So children, in this video we will do question till fifth only. Sixth onwards question we will do in the next video. Thank you, children. Do these questions in your notebook.